Hi, I am Annalise Lermans and I'm a research scientist in the R&D applications team at Advanced Cell Diagnostics. I would like to take this opportunity to highlight some of the neuroscience applications for ACD's RNA-scope technology. By enabling highly specific RNA detection in the nervous system, this technology contributes to the current advances in neuroscientific research by generating a greater understanding of topics like neural development, structural and functional organization of the nervous system, cognitive and behavioral neurosciences, and also clinical neurosciences, including, for instance, mechanisms of neurodegenerative diseases and approaches for drug development. The proprietary double Z probe design, in combination with our advanced signal amplification, enables this highly specific and sensitive detection of target RNA within the spatial and morphological tissue context. This robust signal-to-noise technology allows for multiplexed RNA detection in formalin-fixed paraffin-embedded tissues, so FFPE, and fresh frozen tissue samples. And this at single cell resolution, meaning that each dot visualizes a single RNA transcript or molecule. From the following applications, today I will focus on the use of our chromogenic and fluorescent RNA scope assay in the context of GPCRs, so G protein coupled receptors. While IHSC is proven to be a well established method for a broad range of applications, from discovery to diagnostics and prognostics, raising antibodies to GPCRs can be challenging, and this can be due to difficulties in obtaining suitable antigen accessibility, amongst other reasons, as these GPCRs are transmembrane proteins and they can be expressed at low levels and tend to be unstable when purified. In this example, we visualize the simultaneous fluorescent detection of three distinct opioid GPCRs in the normal mouse brain and more specifically in the hippocampus. So we have uh, opioid receptor mu, so OPRM1 in green, we have OPRD1 in red, and we have OPRK1 or kappa1 in white. In the next example, we visualize the multiplex fluorescent detection of two distinct dopaminergic GPCRs and is also in normal mouse brain, but this time in the striatum. So the striatum harbors two distinct neuronal populations. And these medium spiny neurons either express dopamine receptor D1, so DRD1, which is shown in red, or dopamine receptor D2, DRD2, which is detected in green. These different neuronal cell types can be accurately detected and visualized using the RNA scope technology. A magnification for both cell types is also shown in the insets on the right. And what you can appreciate here is the clear punctate single transcript detection both for DRD1 and DRD2. In this third example, we combine the detection of cholinergic muscarinic receptor 3 with the previously mentioned dopaminergic GPCR DRD2, and this in the hippocampus, and more specifically within the dentate gyrus. So CHRM3 RNA detection is shown in red, and the DRD2 signal is detected in green. What you can see on the left side is a 40x magnification of the Hillis area, with CHRM3 mostly present in the CA neurons, so shown in red, and DRD2 detection in green is present further along within this Hillis area. Here another image is shown for these two GPCRs, but in a different brain area. So this is the cortex, where you have the more supragranular layers oriented to the bottom right, and more infragranular layers are shown to the upper left. And from this detection pattern for CHRM3, you can clearly distinguish that there is a layer-specific expression. Finally, we have the detection of cannabinoid GPCRs. And in this image of the hippocampus, you can see the detection of CNR1 in green, together with the previously mentioned DRD1 receptor shown in red. We observe cells expressing DRD1 primarily in the dentate gyrus itself, and CNR1 expression in the CA area. Also, in this image on the left, a close-up is shown for DRD1 detection in the dentate gyrus, and the prominent expression of CNR1 can also be seen in these big green cells, presumably interneurons. The same hippocampal expression pattern for these two targets is shown in a more anterior section of the mouse brain, 
also hippocampus, dente gyrus. So we also detected CNR1 and DRD1 with our duplex chromogenic RNA scope assay, and this was done on FFPE tissue samples, while the previous fluorescent images were shown for fresh frozen tissue samples. So in this triadal brain section, you can see DRD1 expression in green and CNR1 expression in red, with a close-up of the delineated area on the right-hand side, where you can see a clear punctate expression pattern for both these GPCRs. The chromogenic detection of the same target GPCRs in the hippocampus shows also the expression of CNR1 in red, mostly in CA, and a high expression of DRD1 in green in the dentate gyrus. And in this image, again, you can see the prominent expression of CNR1 in these big neurons. If you have any questions regarding the use of the RNA scope technology for neuroscience applications, please don't hesitate to contact us at the email address below. Thank you for listening.